Relationship of land use permits to single family dwelling and other permits. Issuance of land use permits does not eliminate any permit requirement for single family dwellings or for other permits. In addition, Costilla County requires that the following permits be obtained for any land use change. Number one, minor development permit. Any activity for which a development permit is required, which is contained on one acre or more for a single family dwelling. Minor development permit. I don't think... The Jacqueline Mitchell's old property doesn't have a permit either. Robert Pickerel doesn't have a permit. Wayne Johnson doesn't have a permit. Minor development permit. Any activity for which a development permit is required, which is contained on one acre or more for a single family dwelling. Number two, land use permit for construction. Any activity in which applicant is constructing a new residence, accessory dwelling, accessory structures, or commercial slash industrial building. A. Construction for residential dwellings, accessory structures, commercial or industrial building within the Watershed protect, Protection Overlay District will require compliance with the Watershed Protection Overlay Guidelines. B. Minimum size for all single family dwellings is 600 square feet. 600 square feet, 20 by 30. C. Alternative dwelling, earth ship homes, tire construction prohibited. So you can't construct anything with tires when it comes to your home maybe your fence lines there's no rules with fences but earth ship homes they talk about earth ship homes and they talk about cargo crates cargo crates are to be used for commercial and industrial use only some people try to live in these cargo crates commercial and industrial use only and think about that there's some person that wanted to get a cargo crate out there so he could protect his stuff, and then uh, damn commissioners were acting like they weren't going to let him do it. You got all these fucking crimes that's happening all over the fucking place. With the damn arsons and the goddamn... There's a serial killer that was in Los Salces. The, the perverts, the Nazi perverts. The arsons, the violence, the stealing. They're flipping RVs over, so it's they're using big... See, manufactured home and mobile home permit. They're using heavy-duty trucks and heavy-duty equipment. So it's not just a petty taking something off of somebody's porch. Manufactured home and mobile home permit. Yeah, you can't even pull a trailer up and look with, without getting a permit. Pursuant to Section 5.40C, mobile home, mobile home park, and RV park review criteria. For road access permit, how the hell, you know, Robert Pickrell, how does he drive onto his property without a road access permit? He drove across the fucking property, so he's driving other people's property. He's also a criminal piece of shit. Have I witnessed him committing crime after crime after crime? And because I can't convince a police officer... That I'm an honest person. I am an honest person. But they project their fucking dishonesty onto other people. I saw what I saw. I know what I know. And I know what the evidence suggests or proves. I know what I've seen. I know what I've experienced. I have personal knowledge of several incidents. And if you're a police officer, you would want to protect the victim, right? You would think so. You think I'm just calling 911 for my health? What if Robert Pickerel was just fucking with me because we live in a police state and he thought that by him harassing me, he just keeps flashing his fucking lights at my dogs, get my dogs to bark, I call the cops. An hour later, they come out, they don't even talk to him. He flashed the lights at Schultz one time, but they're not going to arrest him for the harassment, the bullshit. They'll, just, they'll laugh about it. It's just funny to them. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, man. He's making it impossible for me to fucking live there. But that's the fucking point. They want to take my land. They want to take my boards. They're a bunch of thieving ass pieces of shit. And if he's not a right wing sovereign, then why wouldn't he just go to court? They needed to deliver that fucking thing to him. He knows that he's being subpoenaed uh, the 5th, 6th, and 7th of April. San Luis Courthouse. Robert Pickerel. Show up. Road access permit. You need to pay for your road access permit. I know that you're not in compliance with planning and zoning, and I know you're a criminal piece of shit. You don't have a septic. You didn't do the right septic tank. You didn't do the septic tank permit. 
the road cut permit, the flood plain permit, the sign permit, grading permit, occupancy permit. Yeah, you haven't gone through all this, have you? Grading permit, manufactured home. Grading, you had that damn Clayton was, you know, driving all over his property, grading all over the place. Individual sewage disposal system permit. That's your septic tank. Individual sewage disposal system as required for the installation or repair of an individual sewage disposal system pursuant to the Costilla County Individual Sewage... Di okay, re regulations. Why not just say septic tank, motherfuckers? Road cut permit for any activity in which a county road is trenched pursuant to the Costilla County Road Standards. Flood plain permit for activity in areas of flood hazards pursuant to section 5.40J sign permit pursuant to section 5.30 signs grading permit grading permit for excavating filling or combination there uh, for road construction it's just bullshit when you abide by the fucking laws and then everybody else is pissed off for you doing so so the neighbors start fucking with you and the cops don't protect you and then you're not able to build your house so Robert Pickrell could build his house because he didn't pay for any permits. He didn't waste his fucking time. He didn't go to planning and zoning and have them shit on him. They weren't rude to him. He didn't have to do all that. He didn't have to call the police because he's a birds of a feather. Those fucking right-wing sovereigns are still fucking out there. They're still fucking out there. You don't think Colorado's a state? You don't think Oregon's a state? Fuck them right-wing sovereign pieces of shit. Perverted motherfucking child abusing piles of shit. You're a racist, you're all about child abuse, and you're not doing planning and zoning. Fuck you. Fuck you. Certificates of occupancy may be issued once the public improvements are substantially completed, meaning that all sewer, water, electrical, storm drainage, and street improvements are functional and operational. Right. Once you got all the permits and you got your house built and you got your fucking the electric and the plumbing or whatever, then you could be a, get to be an occupant, right? Then you get to apply for the address. But not if everybody's a bunch of pieces of shit just trying to fucking steal money from you. That's what happened the first time, four years of planning and zoning. They said, here's a sucker. Yeah, we can make him lawful, put some money in our coffers, feel like we're doing something. They took $1,000 from me. And then when they took $1,000 from me four years ago, planning and zoning, they didn't issue a permit. They, they, were say, they said, thank you for your application. Meaning that they were going to revoke the application. But they never technically issued me a permit. They did have a little, you know, little sign that was laminated. And I paid for it once, twice, three times. But after being harassed so many fucking times by everybody else and I'm not having any fucking time, I couldn't even get to San Luis to pay for my fucking permits if I wanted to. I couldn't even go to the fucking post office. I couldn't even go to the grocery store. Because goddamn fucking Noah Spalding and fucking Phil Greeny and motherfucking Robert Pickerel. They were harassing me day in and day out, and they weren't letting me do shit. I couldn't go out to the road to walk my dogs. I couldn't go fix my fence. I couldn't do shit. Not without them rat bastard motherfuckers hounding me, harassing me, stalking me. Non-fucking-stop. Non-fucking-stop. You're not a right-wing sovereign, then go to court. Go to court. April 5th, 6th, and 7th, 2023, San Luis. Not a fucking right-wing sovereign. Fuck you. I'm tired of y'all's fucking lying bullshit. I was nice to these motherfuckers, too. I was kind to every single one of them. In the very beginning, not a single one of them could say that I wasn't kind to them. That's probably the fucking problem, too. Their daddies beat the shit out of their moms or their daddies fucking abandoned them, right? So, oh, this man's being kind to us. Why is he doing that? This is weird. You're the weird mo motherfuckers. You're the weird motherfuckers. I want people to be fucking kind. I wish there was a million Jonathan Masters out here. Give you a ride to the airport. Give you a ride to the hospital if you need one. Be there in an emergency. Be there in a tight spot. Got a good head on his shoulders. If you want to be left alone, he'll leave you alone. If you want a best friend, he'll be your best fucking friend. Why wouldn't you want a John Masters next to you? Because you're a bitch-ass piece of shit criminal fuck. That's the only reason. You're a piece of shit. And you're a Hector projector. And you're projecting all your fucking wickedness on the, everybody else, you stupid sick fuck. A lot of times it's Caucasians, isn't it? A bunch of insecure fucking Napoleon complex motherfuckers. I didn't make you short. Land use changes involving division of land. A subdivision. Unless otherwise provided by these regulations, division of land shall be classified as minor subdivision or major subdivision based upon the level of impact. A. Minor subdivision review process. What's this watershed protection overlay permit? 
Section 5.40. Okay, so minor subdivision review process. Division of land considered to be minor subdivision pursuant to Article 10, Section 10. Point one five shall be subject to the minor sub subdivision review process, which is an abbreviated subdivision review process. B, major subdivision review process. Division of land considered to be major subdivision process. Shall be subject to the... Okay. Other ones. Subdivisions, subdivision exemptions, other divisions of land. Subdivision exemptions. A request for exemption from subdivision regulations shall be subject to the review process set forth in Article 11. Other divisions of land, rural land use, cluster development, and conservation subdivision are exempt from subdivision regulations and are subject to review processes set forth in Article 11, Sections 11.20 and 11.30H. Overlay district. Unless otherwise provided by these regulations, a change in land use subject to an overlay district shall be subject to the review process required by the underlying zone district. I. Signs. Signs shall be subject to a specific review and approval process set forth in Article 5.30. J. Exemptions from land use permit requirements. Signs shall be... Yeah, when I drove out there four years ago to Costilla County, Planning and Zoning was driving around looking for signs. They were looking for... That's what they told me. We're looking for signs. And I was like, damn, they're like that here. It's a good thing I'm, you know, making sure on the I'm on the up and up when it comes to abiding by planning and zoning. They got planning and zoning officers looking for signs in Costia County. That was four years ago. And then all of a sudden we start we stopped giving a shit. We stopped giving a shit. And signs. What if I say, hey, you know, I, for me to I gotta work in this country, so I have a sign just saying, you know, I'll fix your horseshoes or whatever for five dollars per horseshoe. I have to go through the fucking county commissioners and shit. And then if the cops and the courts aren't enforcing any of this, then none of this matters, right? Everybody could just fucking scoff at the county commissioners. That's Stephen Romero said he was like the smartest person ever. The reason why he should be re-elected is because he's got an education. If he's so fucking smart, then how come he, he's supposed to be the executive in the legislative branch, but he's not able to get the damn cops and the courts to enforce it. You only got 3,500 people in Costilla County. That is very manageable. You should be able to know when there's a brand new structure in the neighborhood. People should be on the up and up. Everybody should be on the same page. Why aren't the people of Costilla County on the same page? Exemptions from land use permit requirements. Okay, look at this. There's exemptions. There's exemptions. So for all you fucking goddamn criminal sons of bitches... Robert Picro, you got it. There's exemptions. You didn't even, you, you could have got an exemption. The following uses and activities are exempt from the requirement to obtain a land use permit if the use or activity is proposed for areas of the county that are zoned agricultural. Number one, agricultural operations that do not require a land use permit include A, production, cultivation, growing and harvesting of crops and plants, but not including forestry or timbering or medical marijuana, retail or sales of marijuana or marijuana. What? These these are agricultural operations don't that don't require. Okay. So crops and plants, but not including oh not including forestry. So no trees or marijuana. That that seems like a what what a weird fucking exemption. But production 2013. I think that's when they did 2000. I'm not for sure. 2002. They say okay. No, they're repealing it. I think there is a 2002 land use code and then there's a 2013. Since they're mentioning marijuana, it would make sense it's 2013 since that's when marijuana was legal. So any production, cultivation, growing, and harvesting of crops and plants, besides not marijuana, not trees, but you can raise anything. All the tomatoes, all the peppers, all the potatoes. Crops and plants. Whatever vegetables, whatever fruits, but not forestry or timbering. Timbering. Forestry or timbering. So I guess you could have apple trees and pecan trees, but they don't want you to just raise a forest. But why? Raising trees are good. And so is marijuana. I don't like the two exceptions. I wish they would say you could plant trees. Planting trees is a good fucking thing. It's just like Pueblo. Pueblo, Colorado says it's illegal to plant sunflowers. Fuck Pueblo, Colorado. You're against some fucking flowers? Then 
You're against me, you motherfucker. I can't stand you're against sunflowers and go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. Raising and breeding livestock, but not including confined animal feedlot operations. So you can have a couple goats and a couple sheep. So that means Noble Haven was lying to me. When he says that I'm not allowed to have a cow because they'll steal it, who is they? Noble Havens, who is they? Why won't Noble Havens tell me who the fuck they is? And he's pretending like he didn't talk to anybody either. He comes out arguing with me like a fucking asshole. Now, I live on Delaware Trail. Ask Noble Haven, what road was he driving on when him and I met? I think it's Delaware Trail. He thought it was something else. Because he's got the wrong fucking maps and he don't know what the hell's going on. He, up is down and down is up, apparently, to him. Harvesting, storage, grading, packaging, processing, distribution, and sale of agricultural commodities occur occurring at the point of production. Construction of sheds, outbuildings, and other accessory structures smaller than 120 square feet or non-enclosed structures in size which are necessary for agricultural operations. Construction and operation of a seasonal extender hoop house. Extender hoop houses? What's a hoop house? But these are exceptions. So this is, if someone says, hey, you, you built that house or you got the septic and you didn't do the thing, well, you didn't. But you're allowed to raise livestock. You're allowed to grow plants Right, we're trying to maintain the rural and agricultural. It's an agrarian society. Maintain the agrarian flavor of Costilla County. Harvesting, storage, grading, packaging, processing, distribution, and sale of agriculture commodities occurring at the point of production. So you can raise a bunch of peppers and then have people come onto your property and pick those peppers. And you can make money doing that at the point of production. I guess you could probably have a farm stand too. Construction of sheds, outbuildings, other accessory structures smaller than 120 square feet. 120 square feet. So the houses could only be 600 square feet or less. 120 square feet for sheds, outbuildings, or, so your farm stand. Which is necessary for agricultural operations. You could have a farm stand, you could have a shed or two, an outbuilding. And those don't require a land use permit. You can construct and operate a seasonal extender hoop house. Whatever the fuck a seasonal extender hoop house is. You're allowed to do it and you don't have to have a permit. Isn't this awesome? To know the laws means that you get all these freedoms. You're not just making up a bunch of shit. I know you don't have morals, so read the fucking laws, you pieces of shit. Excavations of less than 100 cubic yards of material that are not located within the Watershed Protection Overlay District do not require a land use permit. Accessory structures smaller than 120 square feet in size that are associated with the exempt uses and activities herein do not require a land use permit for solar panels for single family houses, all zone districts. Fantastic. Fantastic. Everybody can have solar panels for single family homes. Everybody can have solar panels. And it's not against zoning. That's exempt. Accessory, accessory structure. Smaller than 120 square feet. So those are some of the exemptions. Section 1.50. Repeal or reenactment. Effective date. Repeal of County's prior land use regulations. The 2002 Costilla County Land Use Code is hereby repealed on the date of the county's adoption of these land use regulations. Enactment. This land use code shall be enacted upon its approval by the Board of County Commissioners after review and recommendation by the Costilla County Planning Commission following public hearing. C. Effective date. This land use code shall become effective 30 days following the date of its adoption by the Board of County Commissioners unless adopted as an emergency ordinance necessary for the immediate preservation of public health, safety, and welfare. Section 1.60, severability. A, provision declared invalid. If any provision of this land use code is declared invalid by a decision of any court of competent jurisdiction, then the effect of such decision shall be limited to that provision which is expressly declared invalid and shall not affect any other provision of this land use code. Application of a tract of land invalid. If the application of this land use code to any tract of land is declared to be invalid by a decision of any court of competent jurisdiction, 
Then the effect of such decisions shall be limited to the tract of land involved. Such decisions shall not affect this land use code or the application of any provision there of to any other tract of land. Section 1.70. Interpretation and construction. Minimum required. The provisions of this land use code. So just the people who are illiterate, just the people who are actually legally literate are going to get fucked. If you're honest and you read the laws, you'll get fucked. You'll get all your money taken and then the criminals will take your boards and then you won't be able to do shit if you read the laws. But if you don't read the laws and you move in like a criminal piece of shit and you just don't buy the permits and then you just start harassing all the lawful people, well shit, none of the cops are going to do shit. It's almost like none of the fucking people around here read their own laws. This is Colorado law. I, I'm not coming into Colorado reading Colorado law to be an asshole. I'm coming into Colorado reading Colorado law to respect the law of Colorado. It's out of respect, not disrespect. Minimum re required. The provisions of this land use code shall be regarded as the minimum requirements. That's the minimum of requirements for the protection of the public health, safety, and general welfare. So that was, that was summer 2020. So 2021, 2022, 2023, that means Robert Pickerell has been over there being a criminal fucking piece of shit for about two to three fucking years. I wasted all that time and money in an RV park with a bunch of fucking dickheads trying to do it on the up and up. Nobody fucking said, cool, man, I'm glad you're coming into this community not being a piece of shit. I'm glad you fucking actually read the lo damn laws. You actually come up with a damn impact fucking... I want lawful people in my neighborhood. I want people that are going to waste money. Yeah, that will waste money for the permits instead of fucking criminal fucking piles of shit. Liberal construction. This land use code shall be liberally constructed to further its underlying purposes. Conflict. If a conflict occurs between this code and a state statute or other applicable codes and regulations... The more restrictive provision controls unless otherwise specified in this code. So they're saying that they're strengthening all the fucking, all the state codes. They're strengthening them so they can make it more tougher. If this code imposes a greater restriction than that imposed by a private easement, covenant, agreement, deed restriction, recorded plat, or other restrictive covenant, this land use code controls. It's pretty strong language. If you actually were lawful and you read all this, you can't ignore it. Section 1.80. If you're an illiterate, criminal, terrorist, sovereign piece of shit, yeah, you probably wouldn't want to... 87 pages? I'm only on page 6. God damn. Who would want to waste their fucking time being, you know, lawful for Costilla County and the residents? I think if I'm a Costilla County resident, I want everybody to know my damn laws. You're going to come in here, buy this land, and bring all that fucking shit and all that trouble, all that disease... They're not bringing their best. It's a bunch of fucking rapists, drug dealing, fucking criminal fucking piles of shit. The location and boundaries of the zoning districts established by this code are established pursuant to map 9 of the Costilla County Comprehensive Plan. And watershed protection district to be noted on the map entitled Official Zoning District Plan of Costilla County, Colorado, dated May 10th, 1996 and amended by resolution by the BOCC. Incorporation and interpretation of maps. County road map. The county, Costilla County road inventory and inventory map as amended is adopted as the county's official county road map. The county road map together with the state's public highway system shall constitute the county public streets, roads, and access rights of way comprehensive plan maps. All maps shown in the Costilla County comprehensive plan. 1041 regulation maps as recorded with the clerk and recorder's office. District boundaries. The location of the zoning district boundary line shall be determined by the administrator in accordance with the following provisions where more than one of the following provisions is applicable in any given situation. The first stated and applicable provision shall prevail over all other provisions. One, where a zoning district boundary line is given a position within or abutting a highway, road, street, or alley. Alley right of way, which does not appear to be located within any zoning district other than an overlay zoning district. The zoning district boundary line shall be deemed to be in the center of such right of way. Two, where a zoning district boundary line is shown as closely and approximately following subdivision plat lot lines. 
municipal boundary or county boundary lines, the zoning district boundary line shall be deemed to coincide with such known boundaries. Three, where a parcel within a zoning district has a boundary line shown by a specific dimension, that dimension shall control. Section 1.90. Vested property rights, a purpose. The purpose of this section is to establish a system of vested property rights for this code as authorized by Article 68 of Title 24, CRS as amended. Page 7, Establishment General. Pursuant to this code, a vested property right shall be deemed established for a land use permit for a period of three years with the approval of a site-specific development plan. I had a site-specific development plan. When the land use permit is approved for a site-specific development plan, the lady just was like crossing out all the beautiful trees. And you can't have trees. I had like three. I had uh, my children's house and my grandchildren's house, and she X'd them both out because you can only have one house per parcel, one structure per parcel. So I just remember turning a 20-page plan in to planning and zoning, and then they say, nope, your grandchildren can't have a house here. Oh, sorry for thinking 50 fucking years in the future. And I guess it's the truth, but what the fuck? Is be like, cool. Cool, you turned in a 20-page ac application. You're actually doing the thing without us even... This is awesome. I mean, that has to suck. Have to chase people down. When people say, fuck planning and zoning, fuck you planning and zoning, we won't do shit. Robert Pickrell has been living there for two to three fucking years. Hasn't abided by planning and zoning in the slightest. He's been a criminal fucking piece of shit. He isn't going to read any of the laws of Colorado. Doesn't give a shit about the rules. Doesn't care about voting or damn, you know, civil society. I want an abuse-free household in a crime-free neighborhood in a civil society. You have to have a philosophy of goodness if you're a good person. Planting trees is a good thing. For the purposes of this section, site-specific development plans shall only mean A, a land use permit, or B, a final plat for subdivision or a cluster subdivision. C, development agreements. The Board of County Commissioners may enter into a development agreement with the landowner for the extension of vested property rights, where in the discretion of the board an extension is warranted due to project, to project size and or phasing of the development, the board may also consider an extension of vested property rights for economic cycles and or market conditions. D. Approval and effective date. Approval and effective date. A site-specific development plan shall be deemed approved upon the effective date of the Board of County Commissioners' approval action relating thereto following a public hearing conducted in accordance with Article 6. Section 6.50, the board may approve a site-specific development plan upon such terms and conditions as may be reasonably necessary to protect the public health, safety, and welfare. The approval shall result in a vested property right, although failure to abide by such terms and conditions will result in forfeiture of the vested property right. E, subsequent review and approval. Following approval or conditional approval of a site-specific development plan, the site-specific development plan shall be subject to subsequent reviews by the county to ensure compliance with the terms and conditions of the original approval. If such reviews and approvals are not inconsistent with the terms and conditions of the original approval, F, exceptions. A vested property right once established pursuant to this section precludes any zoning or land use action by the county for a period of three years. From the date of approval of the site-specific development plan that would alter, impair, prevent, diminish, or otherwise delay the development or use of the land subject to the site-specific development plan consistent with the terms and conditions of the site-specific development plan except 1. Landowner's consent with the consent of the affected landowner. 2. Hazards. Upon the discovery of natural or man-made hazards on or in the immediate vicinity of the subject property which hazards could not reasonably have been discovered at the time of the approval of the site-specific development plan and which hazards, if uncorrected, would pose a serious threat to the public health, safety, and welfare. S three, just compensation paid to landowner to the extent that the affected landowner receives just compensation for all costs, expenses, and liabilities incurred by the landowner, including but not limited to all fees paid in consideration for Financing and all architectural planning, marketing, legal, and other consultants' fees incurred after approval 
by the governmental entity together with interest thereon at the legal rate until paid. Just compensation shall not include any diminution, any diminution, diminution in the value of the property which is caused by such action. G. 